Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Peace, peace. What's good, everybody? Um, today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a 5-wire relay. Um, pretty universal. And hopefully, I can explain it in a way where you guys will understand. Um, let's just get into it here. So, i got two relays here. They usually have a diagram on them. This one happens to be on top. This one on the side. It's just letting you know what the terminals are. Uh, what the role is and what's going on with the relay internally internally sorry all right so standard five wire relay these are five terminals you're gonna have 86 85 30 87 and 87a in the middle okay all right now let me draw out a relay here for you guys So here's a 30, here's 86, 85, 87A, and I'll just put 87 over here. Okay. Just like a car battery, your post, you've got positive and negative. Now, on a car battery, one post is always positive, one's negative. That's how it is, they don't change. But we're energizing this, we're getting the power from the car battery. So. Like anything else, uh, razor, shaver, lights, um, not a razor, but a flashlight, uh, any electronic. As long as you have a positive, and it'll tell you which way the battery goes. You have a negative, the electronic works. It tells you which way to put the battery. Um, you have a positive, positive, nothing's going to happen. If you put a negative, negative, nothing's going to happen. Or if you put a negative and a positive, you know, you'll get power too. Um, so basically, that's all you got to do with the relay. Now, like the battery posts, you can consider these to be your posts right here to energize it. Um, these can be either or; doesn't matter. Okay, so if you got if you got a negative here, you put positive here. This is gonna work. Put positive here, put negative here. This is gonna work. Okay. Don't overthink it. It's just as it is what it is. Um, you can get more into depth later on, uh, on exactly, you know, the specifics of a relay, crack one open, see how it works. But I'm just trying to explain it here, so in a way everybody can understand. So internally, you got 87 here. You got 87A here. You got 30 here. Okay. So 30 and 87A are resting. All that means is that inside this relay, this guy right here, is not really, but just imagine a wire hooking this 30 to this 87A. So basically, if you get your multimeter and put it on continuity, or you got your probe or whatnot, you'll see that there's continuity between these two at rest with no power. Okay? That's this guy, this guy, and this guy. Now, if I have positive here, as soon as I put negative here, you'll hear the click. You can mess with it with the power inverter if you have one or 12 volt battery. Um, but as soon as you put negative here, as long as you got positive on, on this side, you can hear a click. And all that, that click is doing, switching from 87A to 87. Okay. Now, if you got your continuity tester, you'll see that there's no more continuity between these two. Between these two. You're going to see it switched from 87 to 30. So it's just the relaying, you know what I mean? So in a sense, you could you can consider a little lever inside resting on, on 87A. And as soon as it gets that, uh, as soon as it gets that click, it touches the top. You let go of the power and it goes down. So if you have power here, negative here. As soon as you hit negative, boom, it's going to go 87. Let go, it's gonna go back. Go, go back. Same thing. You got negative here and positive here. You have positive, it's gonna go, let go. As long as you have a steady ground here. It's just, I'm just saying, like, as long as you have something on this side. If you have nothing over here and you're hitting power, nothing's gonna happen. Because there's no power to energize this. Like I said, flashlight, you know, electronic razor, whatever. Any positive, negative, any batteries. That's your battery power. 
Okay, so like this, uh, where'd it go? Starter Co relay that I have here. It's all insulated. Got your wires here. Um, not all of them. Look at your instructions, but the orange wire will go to your alarm. The yellow or red will go to 12 volt ignition. And you're going to have uh, starter wires. They're going to go to a uh, starter. Okay. So I opened one up just in case you're wondering what it looks like on the inside. It's just the same. It's loomed up. You got orange wire right here going to 86. Okay. Red wire or yellow on the other one going to 85. Not energized. Remember we talked about 87A and 30 are resting. 87A is black wire. White black wire is going to 30, which means at rest the car will start every single time. If you cut it a if you were to cut a starter wire and hook these one side to one end and one side to the other, you just draw it out here. So you got your starter wire. If you if you were to cut it, here, let me put it more on this side. If you were to cut it and put one side to 87A, and actually, I'm sorry, switching this wire all over the place, and put one side to uh, 30 here, instead of the wire being straight, you, you cut it. Okay, the car's going to start because you got your key side over here, okay. It just started over here. Right? Because it's continuity all the way. Right? So it's going to start every time. Now, when you arm your alarm, orange wire, read your manuals, but for the most part, orange wire will be negative output when armed, which means the alarm is sending a negative out to this relay when it's armed. So we just armed our alarm, right? So now we got negative here. They're still resting because there's nothing over here. Now 85, again, was a red wire to ignition. So every time you turn on the ignition, as soon as you turn on the ignition, which is right before a crank, these separate. It goes to 87, which 87 has nothing right now. So instead of going to 87A, it's now going to 87. So now, from your key to here, there's a break. There's nothing else connecting them together. This one we, we added to 87A. There's nothing together no more. Every time you try to crank it, it's going to go, it's going to be switching click, click, click. Now, when you disarm the alarm, you get rid of the negative output when armed. So you'll still get 12 volts on this side, but now it goes back to rest. Okay. Now you, every time you crank, this is still getting 12 volt, but there's no more ground to power this uh, relay up. So the starter kill, that's all the starter kill is inside. It's just a relay. So they're connected together. These two are connected together. Every time it's energized, it connects it to 87. 87. All right. So that's your standard five wire relay. Um, that's just one example of how it works. You can, uh, there's plenty of things you can do. You can um, do a uh, positive to negative with these relays. You can do a negative to positive. Um, what I mean by that is, uh, you know, you'll have most horns, if you're connecting horn to your alarm. I'm just using alarm as an example, but if you're connecting a horn, uh, most alarms are negative pulse. Some European vehicles are positive. Now, alarms send out a negative, so you're fine on, like, you know, Japanese cars or um, even domestic cars but if you need a positive then obviously a negative what do we say a negative a negative nothing's gonna happen right if the horn needs a positive to go off you need to switch negative to a positive and that's what you can do with this relay negative to positive there's a uh, small amperage negatives that you need a stronger negative for like trunk pop um, so you can convert a weak negative to a stronger negative or a weak positive to a stronger positive. Um, for more videos, uh, just check it out. I'll show you how to do those in the next one. And I'll hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this video and helped you out somewhat with my nasty handwriting. All right, guys. Peace.